Hey guys, RC here. Well, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I will admit not having a good day. Had a rough day at work and uh, got word this morning my grandmother passed away. Um, she would have been 104 years old on Monday. So I'm recording this on Wednesday. So uh, just about a half a week short of her 104th birthday and she uh, she's passed away. And uh you know, I mean, I'm I'm sad, but you know, I mean, she lived a great long life, and she had a great life and a good life, and saw a, a. I mean, just think about the stuff she has seen in 103 plus years. Anyway, don't want to dwell on that, but if I come across a little down, I apologize, but that's why. Uh, so let's. What are we doing today? Well, this is going to be kind of a standalone video, and it's also going to be. I'm going to use this as episode zero of our long-term FM 20 save uh, for my channel. And what do I mean by all that? Well, what I have done is I have simmed ahead 30 years. I figured at 30 years, we've weeded out probably every player in every league with maybe a few exceptions, some guys that may have been 16 yeah, those guys would be 46 now. So I'm guessing we've weeded out everybody in the game. I haven't seen anybody else. I, I've seen, Let me clarify. I have not seen anybody else do a save simming ahead like this. So I said, oh, it might be a little unique. Uh, so that's, that's what I'm going with. It. It'll be unique. Uh, please tell me it doesn't suck. Um, that would be the reassurance there would be great. <laughs> but... What I want to do here is we're going to kind of go through the 30-year history. We're going to kind of look at the leagues, and we'll kind of bounce around a little bit. Uh, I will try to limit it to the 30-minute uh, episode duration. And then what we're going to do right at the end, for those of you that, uh, you know, so some people may drop by and just look at it because it's a one-off video, a 30-year jump ahead uh, what's the world look like in football? If you are one of those people, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you dropped by and checked out the video. I do hope you check out some of my other stuff, at least my FM save. But uh, if you don't, that's okay. Thanks for coming by. If you're one of my channel subscribers and you're going to tune into the series long term, please make sure you stick around to the end of the video or jump ahead to the end of the video uh, because we're going to kind of look at the current teams in the National League North and National League South and see if there's any candidates that we want to look at for our save. And when we get to that point, I'll talk about what I'm looking for. Now, I'm not going to go through every league, but we are going to just kind of highlight a few things. So let's go ahead and jump in here and we will bounce back all the way to 2019 uh so liverpool won that year three losses uh, man city arsenal tottenham chelsea man united kind of the same old same old at the top uh, norwich sheffield united crystal palace got relegated uh, of course aston villa is the third team along with norwich and sheffield united up this year from the championship and they finished a respectable uh, 13th uh so jumping ahead uh, Aston got sent down the following year. Huddersfield, yes. Uh, Leeds got relegated. How the, how in the fuck did Leeds get relegated? Because they weren't in the, they weren't in the premier to start with. Yeah, I don't see Leeds in here. Do you guys? I think we've got a game glitch. God. I think, I think, I literally think Miles hates Leeds so much, or somebody at SI hates Leeds. Because you ever notice, every version, the manager at Leeds gets fired like, like two months into the season, and I rarely see Leeds ever get, I mean, I've been watching videos from FM17, and I've been playing back to FM14. I never see Leeds get promoted in anybody's save. Anybody's. So... How, did they, how the hell they got relegated when they were never up to begin with. Uh, Man City, Liverpool, Tottenham, Arsenal, Chelsea. Man United down. Newcastle jumped into that top seven. Uh, so let's see. Um, oh, 
because Leeds got promoted this year. Not a glitch, but I think they still hate Leeds. So Leeds got promoted. Yeah? Nineteen. Yes, leads went up with promotion, uh, automatic promotion. Okay, well, cool deal. Well, that's good news. All right, but of course they got screwed over and went right back down. Uh, Huddersfield, that's good. Aston Villa. All right, next year Liverpool wins again. Burnley, Norwich, and Stoke. Man City wins. Fulham, Brighton, Crystal Palace. Chelsea, Everton, Burnley, and Reading. Chelsea, Brighton, Southampton. Leeds gets relegated again. Fabulous. <laughs> Liverpool, Aston Villa, Fulham, West Ham. All right, QPR's up. They're still up here. Huddersfield's back. Leicester, man. Wow. Speaking of, anybody else really stunned uh, by Pochettino getting uh, sacked by Tottenham uh, yesterday and Jose Mourinho getting hired? I just found that a little bizarre. Oh, Chelsea reminds me of something. Uh, I want to look at something there in a minute just for, because. Man City, uh, Burnley, Reading, QPR goes down. Norwich up near mid-table. Oh, Leeds actually stayed up a year. Nice. Oh, Leeds almost mid-table. Chelsea, another win. West Ham, Everton, Southampton. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through these. You guys can look at them and pause it if you want to look at the standings and and whatnot. Leeds 10th in the table. Very nice. Chelsea, Chelsea. Holy shit. Three, four. Looks like Chelsea's become the power team in the nation. Tottenham back up to second. That's good. Wolves cracks the top six. All right, that's interesting. I'm trying to see uh, Man United, Man City, Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool. Leads back down, bottom half of the table. Leicester, Watford up in the tops of Bournemouth. Wow, that's a little surprising. Man City, I bet their manager got sacked that year. Arsenal, Liverpool. So, yeah, you can pause here if you guys want to check out some details. But I just kind of wanted to bounce through it uh, where we were 30 years. So here's the current premier table for the upcoming season. Uh, Leeds is in there. I've got this sorted alphabetically, so that's, uh, that's what that is. Um, past positions. Ooh. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Well, anyway, that was uh, so that's the Premier League, uh, the Championship. Just in case you're looking for a lower level team that's jumped up, let's see. South End, where did they come from? Uh, so they were League One. I don't know where they were at before that, but they've worked their way up, been a mid table, finally got promoted, and uh, yeah, so good. So they stayed up. So that's a new club in the Championship. Um, who else? Chesterfield, Coventry, Portsmouth. Aren't they typically a lower side? But South End definitely new there. Uh, so yeah, so that's what we're looking at here. Um, if there's anything particular you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments. I wonder. stats but I don't want okay that's only gonna uh, history records here we go that's what I want all right so 23 championships in 30 years for Liverpool very nice uh, I'm guessing Loki Doki will be very happy with that uh, 100 points in a season for Man City 10 points by Stoke uh, that's still a get. Uh, that's an old record. So, Man City was last year, so that's not new. Uh, modern day, hmm. yeah. Okay, so that twenty three counts all time. That's not in our thirty year history. That's my bad. I apologize. Um, so anyway, you can scroll through there. Highest attendance eighty three thousand. Nice. Uh, 
Wimbledon and Everton, 3,039 people. Really, that that attendance record has stood since 1948. Wow, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. And I mean, Man United just drew 75,000 on average for this year. That's kind of crazy. That surprises me. Uh, biggest win, that's uh, old. And that was just matched, was it not? In real life, who had that? Uh, who had that game? Wasn't it? Was it Tottenham? No, it was Leicester. I think Leicester put up nine on somebody recently, uh, like in the last couple of weeks. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. So anyway, most goals sixty. Well, that's an old record. That's an old record. I'm just looking for anything. Most shutouts, Alfredo Ray Daly by Chelsea, uh, 2038, so about a decade ago. 20 years into our, our sim forward. 8.04 rating, Mateo Alves of Man United, uh, about two decades ago almost. So that's good. Uh, attendances. All sellouts, Man United. God, scum. <laughs> uh, as I you were, I was talking about Leeds earlier. So obviously a Leeds fan. If you're if you're new to the channel, I'm a Leeds fan. Dirty Leeds. Uh, let's see, five nil biggest win. Yeah, five four. So nobody opened a complete butt whipping like uh, like in real life. Uh, let's see, most matches one in a row. Most team goals, 86 for Chelsea, 87, 91, 92, 93 for Arsenal. And most goals. All right, this, this is kind of what I wanted to look at. All right, so we go back here. We had a 19-goal season by Bournemouth, Callum Wilson, uh, 18, 19. Harry Kane, back-to-back -back years. Wow, look at this. Ken T is over at Huddersfield now. He's he's uh he's a Leeds prospect right now. Dominic Solanke. Is that the uh is that the guy from Derby that just got that just like tried to kill a teammate drunk driving? Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Mateo Alves, three years in a row, two years in a row. Esposito had a few years in there. Fabio. What I thought he was a, a model. Didn't realize he could play football. Uh, but let's see, 25, 28, 30 down here. So 30 was the career, was the record year. All right, well, that's cool. Um, what else do we want to look at? Most goals in a match, four. Bunch of hat tricks. We had one one match with four. Vessel Velu from Arsenal. Of course, a lot of these names now, 30 years in the future, won't mean anything. And so you might ask yourself, why are you going to do a save where you've simmed ahead and we don't know there's no Ronaldos or Messis or anybody else? That was kind of the point. Because if you do a long-term save in FM anyway, those players all retire. You know, you do a you do a 10, 15-year save over the course of a whole year in real life. Those players are all gone anyway, and you've got, you know, either the very young players that have moved up or you've got regions. So I said, you know what? I just want a clean slate where we don't know anybody, and then we can see, you know, who who stands out. Uh, Anders Knudsen from Leeds. Saw him on here. That's interesting. And youngest goal scorer, 17 and 15. 96. Yep, don't see anybody younger, so that would be that's Callum Tyler of Norwich this year. All right, so if there again, if there's anything you want to see in here, let me know in the comments and I'll try to jump back in in a future episode at the beginning and try to pull that up. Um, but we're gonna move on. Uh, we're about halfway through the episode already, so let's jump to. The Vanarama, because what we're going to do is we're going to start with a low-level club. And we're going to try to build them up. It's going to be a single-team save. 
And I'd like an unusual team, one that I really haven't seen before. But what I'm looking for in particular, um, and there's a couple of clubs jumping out in here. Of course, I don't know much about the Vanarama. Now, Ultra Cham, I've seen Loki Doki do a save with them. Fleetwood, Fleetwood's actually down from the championship in more recent years, but at least League Two, so they're down. Uh, but people have at least heard of them. Uh, Field, Hale Zone, Harrogate, Kitter, uh, Kitterminster, huh? Port Vale, Rockdale. I've seen somebody do a save for them. St. Knott's Town. Um, and then let's check the south, uh, south while we're here. Uh, Bristol. Oh, my God. So, yeah, Bristol's down from League One all the way. Ooh, wow. That's a collapse. Uh, Cheltenham, Dag and Red, they're down on this level regularly. Gloucester, Gloucester. Is it Gloucester in uh, England or Gloucester? Because there's one spelled this way, but it's Gloucester in uh, the United States over in uh, Massachusetts. Um, so my original thought was I had seen a club called Kings Lintown. And they were going to be in the in the in the league this year, and it was their first time making it to the league level. From what the I think this was uh, FM Scout had put up a video or some uh, something like that of you know five clubs to look at managing in England, and that was the one that jumped out. And so what you know, but I, what I wanted to do was and but they fell out after a couple of years. They were out for about a decade came back in for like one or two years and then dropped out again. So unless I get a uh, an 11 deep database and then I'd have to resim all this, I can't do that. So we're going to go through here and just kind of spot check a couple of these clubs. I don't want to do clubs that I know have been done. So let's look at Bamber Bridge. They just debuted here in 38-39. They were founded in 74. And I don't know. What they've accomplished. Oh, here we go. So Northern Premier League Division One North. Back to the Northern Premier after about a decade down a level. And then they got promoted up somehow to the I don't know. Is, is that a name change? No, because it was the Bonorama in previous football manager series so i don't know where that came from but so we've got a we've got a gap here where they were not in this ballpark <laughs> but so they've just made a return so that's that's a club so if you guys see any of the clubs here that you'd like to see us say put it in the comments i'll consider it um but what I'm looking for is a club that has come up from a lower level, not a higher level, but from a lower level and has made it to the to the Vanarama and, you know, and then see what we can do with them long term. <clears throat> so they made their debut in 28-29. They got up to the National League twice and then they've really suffered a, a drop off. So, you know, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of look up some of these teams. I want to see what kind of, uh, you know, what their Twitter account looks like, how much activity they've got, uh, kind of where they are as a club, a little bit of background on the club. I'll look up their wiki page or their club page and just try to learn a little bit about them. All right, so they were a National League that has fallen off. And again, I don't know if you can scroll back here. Nah. I wish you could I wish you could scroll this back, but I guess that's impossible. But this gives us a good window. So they've been up and down. So not really coming in. Panorama National. So they were from the regional leagues. DNR. I don't know. Let's see. Bradford last season finished fourth. Okay. So 
we go here, finished fourth in the VNLN. So I don't know what VNR stands. Oh, well, I guess that's just Vanarama, and then that's the National League. So this is the regional, the north and south. That's what that is. Okay. I'm just, I haven't played down, down here very often. So uh, let's see. Kirsten Aston. All right. They were a National League that's fallen off. FC United. League 2 that's fallen on hard time. Fleetwood, same thing. Field. They've actually been relegated a few times. Hales Owen's been up. Harrow's Gate has been steady in this league. Never won it. Finished second, but never went up. Hempel Hempstead. So they actually made it as high as League 2 and then fell off. So a club like that might be interesting because, you know, odds are they went up two levels and then have fallen back down. They probably would have sacked their manager. Now, this is the kind of club I'm looking at because they've been down in League 7 and 8 and they just made it in 18-19, got relegated in 21-22 and 23-24 and then they made it back up one year and got relegated again. So they've had just spotty appearances over the last, they've had five appearances in this league in the last 30 years. And they've been relegated out every, basically every single time outside of this two year run. So that's a club that might, you know, that kind of fits the criteria. Um, hmm. Now, this is another club, Mickelover Sports. Uh, they just made it to the, to the league in 2040, and they've been up and down. So since in, in, nine, in a decade, they've had five appearances in the league but have never finished higher than 18th. So that's, that's a possibility. I kind of like that one. Let me write that one down because that's – that's kind of exactly what I'm looking for. Now, I would much prefer a professional club, but may not I don't that's probably not available at this level. So they've been in the league for, you know, a couple of decades. Nantwich, yeah, they've been in for pretty consistently for a while. Port Vale, they're, they're a League 2 dropout, so not what I'm looking for. A League 1 dropout. That would be like a real, if you wanted to do like a rebound club, that would be a really good one, uh, you know, at this point. Uh, yeah, they made it up to League 2. Spinnymore. I like the name. I like the name, but they've been in here for 20 21 years, you know, pretty consistent. Um, St. Knott's for sure. I know I've heard of them. Um, but they haven't come from League 7 or 8, which is kind of, that's what's kind of got my interest. And we're going to jump over and check out the South as well. Oh, here's another one. Is that Worcester or Worcester? Because we have a Worcester, Massachusetts that's spelled the same way. Um, now, this is interesting. This Because uh, look at this. So they were in the in the Vanarama in 2016, got re regulated to the Cont uh, Continental League in 1718 and last year. And then they just returned once so that's that's actually another team that would be really interesting so let me know you know again make sure you let me know your thoughts about these clubs um and any of the other ones that that may but those are the ones that are jumping out so they've only been back up twice in 30 years 
So this is a club that's just really never been there, and they're they're just in. So that's a club that intrigues me. Now, what I'm going to do when I go look up information on these clubs, I'm just going to be kind of looking for background information, tidbits that, you know, something to, that may get my attention, right? All right, Bath, no. Borumwood, no. Bristol. Chelmsford. Yeah, they've been up too much. Cheltenham. Yeah, same thing. They've been up in the National League. Concord. Now that's, let's see, is, is so that was 11-12. So they actually got into the league in 2013. They stayed up until 23-24. And then they fell out and they just came back and just got relegated again. So basically in 30 years, They've got five or six years. So so that's possible. That's a possibility. Oh, they were founded the year I was born, so that's good. So Concord's possible. Too high. I think they're going to be, yeah, they were lead two at one time. Wow. So they just, in this last season, got promoted for the very first time to the Vanarama, to League 8, or uh, League 6, or whatever it is. That's interesting. From 1907, and they've never been this high. I don't like that, but that's, that's interesting. Didcot Town, wow. I'm liking that one so far, guys. Dorking, Dover. Dunstable? 47. So Dunstable's another one. They've only been up twice. Semi-professional, insecure. Farnborough. Mm, they've made it up here and they you also know from from okay so league league eight how the hell did they get promoted last year because that's not, none of these are the Vanarama. So they actually fell out of, they got promoted up somewhere, but this is their first year. So they're another one, first year club being up this high. So from town. And I'm going to go in when I'm looking at these clubs in detail will be, okay, okay, finances too. <laughs> um to make sure they haven't been in a higher league. Hampton and Richmond. Uh, so that's possible. They've only been up a handful of times. Now they have been up four years in a row. But they, they got promoted and then got relegated the very next year. So they're coming back down this year. So that might be... That might be an interesting club. Havant and Waterlooville. That's an astounding name. Because I don't delve this far down in, in the English league, typically. A lot of these club names are just new to me. Uh, no, Kingstonian, Maidstone. No. Mersum. Mersum's won, so they've been up six times, and they just got relegated last year, and they so they just got promoted this year. Okay. So there's actually a lot more clubs than I was expecting, to be honest. Sluptown, nice. 
and I know they've been up higher. So, yeah. All right, so that gives us seven clubs. So, Mickelover, Worcester, Deadout Town, Dunstable Town, From Town, Hampton, Hampton and Richmond, and Mirthsum. Those are the ones that jump out at me right now. Um, you know, I mean, if you have another suggestion or one that I maybe looked at wrong, let me know in the comments. If you know anything about any of these clubs at all, because I don't about any of them, let me know in the comments. Just give me some tidbit about the team, some good little nugget of information that might pique my interest. I'm going to be on their Twitter feeds and uh, club club website to kind of learn more about the club. And again, I'm just going to be looking for some little nugget that may just get my attention, you know, um, you know, whatever it may be. Just never know what may pique my interest. But that's kind of what I'm looking for is those kind of clubs have never been up this high, just got here or have only been here a few times. You know, we had those clubs that, you know, five times in 30 years. Uh, we did have one or two clubs five or six times in the last decade. Uh, five years in a row, whatever, you know, but they're relatively new arrivals. So I think those would be an interesting, you know, that would be an interesting club to try to start with. And then the goal is going to be to see how far we can take them. So, uh, you know, or, or until we get sacked. So uh, I look forward to your comments. Uh, I kept it right at 32 minutes almost. So only a little over. That's not bad. But, uh, Again, if you're new to the channel and you dropped in because you saw this was a 30-year leap ahead, welcome to the channel. Thanks for checking it out. You feel free to comment in the comments too. And for my channel subscribers that have been watching my FM content, whether it's been one episode or the two-plus years of episodes that I've put up because I'm in year three now, um, please let me know in the comments and we will definitely see you guys to kick off a new season relatively shortly i'm going to put this up on thursday i'm going to try to put it up thursday now i already have my beta save wrapping that up going up saturday and monday monday will be the final episode so we'll have a couple of days that you guys can check this out leave comments give me the weekend to kind of delve in, look at comments and start doing some research. And then uh, hopefully, uh, you know, Sunday I can uh, knock out episode one and uh, we'll hit the ground running uh, with the first episode going up Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Should be Tuesday, but I may decide to wait and see if I get any more comments about these clubs. Um, but anyway, thanks so much, guys. I am looking forward to an exciting season, whichever club we end up at down here in the National League, north or south, doesn't matter. Um, and we've got a couple of teams, you know, some teams in each side. So um, don't be bashful. Comment away. Let me know what you think. Guys, see you around. Bye.